But anyway, we hear an ad for Ju- for Julio's with their week's lineup. And they they said that on Monday night, this coming Monday at Julio's, they, they announced it like it was a, a, a wrestling promo or a horror movie. <laughs> Joe Savage and his band Wizard appearing this Monday, one night only, see Joe Savage and his 20-foot python snake at Julio's, Tuesday night, Kinderhood Creek, Wednesday night, another pretty face. This this Thursday, blah, blah, blah. Saturday, Rat Race Choir. You know, anyway, so we're like 20 foot pipe. So we're thinking Alice Cooper. Sure. Right? Yeah. So Jeff and I went, and I think my friend Gary Finnell, we went to Julio's. So this is going to be goofy. but let, And it's the worst night, Monday night. Yeah. And we go to this show. Um, and... Uh, this band comes out, and two horn players, which was unusual. Sure. Uh, trombone and sax, or mm. trombone and trumpet, bone and trumpet, maybe? And a uh, great keyboard player, this drummer, Matt Apps, who still plays with Government Mule. Oh, wow. Okay. To this day. Okay. This guitar player, well, I got to work with these guys. This side there. The guitar player, this guy, Charlie Higgs, I don't know what happened to him. These guys were all... Not and then there's Joe Savage, but mm-hmm. I'll get to him. Yeah. So <laughs> they come out without Joe Savage, and they do the first set, and they're doing every, everything from uh, from like yes to Deep Purple to uh, Marvin Gaye hmm. to you know a real variety to, to Todd Rundgren. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a complete variety, and they're really, really good. To Chicago, wow! You know, they had the horns, yeah. But you know, really tasty shit. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the first set, I remember the guitar player said, "We'll be back in the second set with Joe Savage. Stay around, it was Joe Savage and Wizard." And we're like, we've never seen anyone at one of these clubs who gets like an introduction. <laughs> As, as you know, like a, a, yeah. a special celebrity. And um, so naturally we stayed. And I wish there was footage of what I'm going to try to tell you about, because no matter what I say, I can't do this any justice. Wow. Um, but the second set started and I but between sets, I I'm not really paying that much attention, but between sets, in the front of the stage, they put some kind of table, large table. I see some kind of satanic or or, or ritualistic kind of art, and um, it's eventually covered up with like a, a black tarp. Okay, so. Joe Savage comes out. They they introduce him. I'm gonna pull. You're a good one hit wonder guy. Yeah. You, you know what it is to open with a lot of times. You know the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. If you want to get to heaven. Yes. Yeah. That, he used to they used to open with that a lot of times. Wow. Okay. And it played into the whole show that he did. They used to they they would do if you want to get to heaven. Mm-hmm. Into locomotive breath. Okay. With, with the horns. Wow. You know, with, 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 you know, with the bah, 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 right? Yeah. And it was really good. Well, it did three or four songs, and like, what the fuck is this table? <laughs> yeah, where's the python? Right? Yeah. And where's this snake? Yeah. <laughs> and they would go into a. I wish I had the set list. It, it might exist somewhere. They would go into a series of very upbeat things that sort of we were sort of like looking at each other like they would do like Joy to the World oh, by okay. Three Dog yeah. Night. And maybe Grand Funk or something like, and, like that. And, and the, these um, very cheery kind of upbeat sort of out of character things. And all of a sudden, and they had a lighting guy, and all of a sudden... The horn, the horn players in the in the middle. Let's just say for this podcast sake, "Joy to the World" was the fourth one they're doing. You know, they're doing "Joy to the World." <laughs> oh, the boy, right? And we're like rolling our eyes. Yeah. All of a sudden, after like the uh, the, the, the third verse, 
the horn players start the, the, just start like your car wreck style, oh. and the lights sort of go down, and Joe Savage turns around, and you don't know what he's doing, and there's all this very odd sounds going on, like horror movie style, and he's down on the ground. You can't see what he's doing, and what he's doing is he's taking white and black face paint, and he was bald. I have some pictures of him. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And he covers he covers his face. Wow. So when he turns around, yeah, he's like this other character. Mm. And they would do a series of songs. Here's another one hit one. I wish I had the whole list. Remember the great Arthur Brown? I am the god of hell's fire, <laughs> yeah. and I bring you right. Yeah. So they would do these songs that were now dark, and you know. Uh, no, Alice, he made sure not to do Alice Cooper. Okay. <laughs> they were dark and uh, the opposites of joy to the world. Yeah. And eventually, and the, 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 the table, when, it would, when he would pull the cloth off, uh, there were these, once again, these spiritual, evil kind of looking things. And we, at that point, were like, we weren't like, oh, this is goofy. We were like, what the fuck? Yeah. Right? And they had some flash pots, which were like, oh, the, yeah. Know, so there was a point where there was the explosions, mm -hmm. probably completely illegal, violating all <laughs> club standards. Right. right. But they worked. And the grand finale, if th this whole set, this whole second set was probably 45 minutes. So this little show was probably the last 20 minutes. And the last part was the snake. And I forget what song. I mean, I saw it probably dozens and dozens of times, as I will tell you. But the last part was with the snake. And he would have the place in fucking, when I say in hysterics, I'm not yeah. talking about comical. Yeah. People were scared. And it was just, he looked so bizarre. And he would get on, if there was a bar, you know, he's on a stage, he would walk out with the snake. Wow. And, you know, it was like, it would be like Bruiser Brody running through the crowd oh, at Corrigan Hall. Or, you know, and eventually he'd make it back to the stage. Yeah. And put the snake down. And the music would just be like, da, na, 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 na. Wow. And the snake's down, and Joe Savage would just turn around and just smile at the people. And that would break the crowd up, right? And his, his, then he went into his little, his little spiel. And he, he had a one liner uh, of like, oh, you thought I was something like, oh, you thought I was a little bit weird, huh? And he broke, the, he, he loosened the people up as, listen. All we wanted to do tonight was give you guys some entertainment. We wanted to take you out of the darkness of the of the, some of that darkness of the world that's outside often into the light of the world inside. And if we did that, even if it was just for a minute or even just a few seconds, we did our job. And we hope you come back and see us. And everybody, you have a good night. And the band would play, go into their whatever the, the walk off song was, which uh, I forget. And uh, we were just stunned. Yeah. We were blown away. There was nothing hokey. There was, the band was so good. And he was so, can he sold so well. Yeah. And he was so convincing. And we were like astounded.